Here you can see the Malachite SDR receiver in a nice metallic case with a clearly visible 3.5 inch touchscreen. On the top side of the unit, there is the antenna connection which is a SMA female and on the same side we also have the power button. Tap once, it turns it on, tap again, it pulls the screen off but still the device works and if you hold that button, it turns off the entire device. On the same side of the SDR, you will also see two rotary controls which are used to control volume and tune frequency. Here we also have a USB-C type port which is used to charge the internal battery and also to perform some computer functions like firmware updates or to take audio or IQ data. On the other side of the SGR, it has a 3.5mm headphone socket. The rotary encoder acts as a push switches which are used to enable features in the menu system. So let's go ahead and take a look to the menu system and go through each of the features. And remember, this is a fully activated firmware so we can have all the features available to us. Your 59 plus 20 here uh, in uh, in the eastern part of the Netherlands, uh, Bob. Okay, Mike, back to you. Mike Zero, Mike Charlie Victor, Papa Delta Zero, Sierra Bravo Juliet. The first menu button title hard contains the setting mode here, which can change the encoder direction simply by enabling or disabling. The VBAT control button allows us to configure the SDR to automatically turn off once the internal battery hits 33 volt. We then have the SW antenna button. This is used to switch between a 50 ohm antenna and a high Z antenna. With a high Z option would normally be selected if you are using an attached telescopic antenna. The preamp button allows us to enable or disable the preamp. In my experience, the preamp was needed to be enabled on any of the band that I have chosen. We also have an ATT value setting which is for the RF attenuator level. Now moving on to the next set of buttons. We have the RF gain which you can adjust to your liking. Make sure not to have it set it too high so the receiver isn't overloaded. The LNA mixup along with the mix GR can be enabled or disabled depending on your requirements at the time. Now the F correct value can be changed to correct the receiver's frequency. This is measured in hertz. The SM correct value can be changed if you find the signal meter is not showing the correct values. The Malachite SDR also have beep to alert you when you are using some functions. The beep level can be set to your requirements. I personally have my set to around 7, which is quite comfortable and not too loud. The IND type value can be changed between SNR and DBM. This changes the signal meter to either signal to noise ratio or the receive signal in DBM. The activity time setting allows the user to set a timeout so that when the time is up, the unit will turn itself off. And we have been over to the audio tab. We find here the noise blanker threshold set and as well as being enabled or disabled the noise blanker if required. HGC Alarm allows you to set a maximum audio output level measured in dB. The AGC gain can also be configured here. When the AGC is turned off, so this will act as a manual AGC value. Now, while in FM mode, normally listening to a broadcast radio station, you can enable wider FM stereo along with the EQ type. EQ type will be like rock, jazz, blues, dance, etc. to give you more of a fuller sound when you are listening with headphones. Now the frequency button will toggle between narrow and wide. Although using the low frequency and high frequency settings, you can customize your own filter bandwidth here. This is very useful when, when you are using SSB, a built-in squelch provider and if enabled, it will use the squelch threshold value. One of the nice DSP feature of the Malachite SDR is the noise reduction feature. You can also set the noise reduction threshold as to which point the noise reduction will kick in. So moving on to the visual tab, we find settings for minimum and maximum brightness. The reduce time is the amount of time to allow before it switch from max brightness to minimum brightness. If the LCD sleep option is enabled, the LCD will turn off completely for the time set in the sleep time setting. Now, the FFT AVE, FFT average is the average speed of the FFT. FFT scale allows the user to set the spectrum and display range. Or the FFT color setting allows the user to change the color of the line of the FFT. Pan person will adjust the ratio of the spectrum and water for show on the screen. So this will allow you to choose the size of the FFT to a smaller size if you prefer a larger waterfall and vice versa.
WTF delay changes the actual speed of the waterfall. I prefer mine quite faster, but with this saying, you may adjust it to your liking. WTF gain settings allows you to make the signal more prominent on the waterfall, especially if they are weak signals. But be careful not to turn this up too high, or looks a complete mess. The FFT fill option, which can be enabled or disabled, allows you to have the FFT filled with a solid color or just show the signal line if disabled. View pan and WTF or waterfall enables or disable the waterfall in FFT. Maybe to save battery power if you are just listening to a specific frequency and you do not need the display. The NR button will enable and disable the noise reduction system with an indicator shown on the very top line of the display. Having this button here make it very easy and convenient to turn it on and off when required. Now the mode selection allows the user to change between the usual mode of the modulation and underneath the modes we have an option to turn on the inbuilt CW decoder along with setting the minimum signal to noise ratio for the decoder. So the band tab will show you 5 bands of 10 store frequency. This is quite useful if you want to quickly change the band without having to manually type in the frequency or twist that encoder millions of times. The most common ham radio bands will already have been programmed when you receive the SDR. Now the top bar has some indicators showing squelch, noise blanca, noise reduction, AGC antenna and PM status. The mode is also shown along with the AGC level, volume level and filter settings not to quickly change the AGC volume or filter without having to go into the menu system. Simply push the volume encoder once and you see an underlining move from one to the other. Turning the volume encoder will change the value on the corresponding settings and if you push in once the frequency change encoder, this will allow you to change the frequency steps i.e. how much is changed per click of the encoder. Underneath the battery charge level indicator are two further indicators for headphone and speaker. To turn this on or off, just tap the screen and it will cycle through them. To enter a direct frequency, simply tap on the frequency readout and a keypad will appear allowing you to enter a direct frequency. Another feature of the Malachite SGR is RDS decoding while in FM stereo mode on the broadcast band. That's all about the Malachite SGR radio. If you have any questions then please contact us. Thank you so much for watching.